Hello everyone. So in this video, I am going to explain uh, this uh, pipeline return value with a uh, set va uh, variable. So let's understand basics first. Where is set variable? Set variable. So in the set variable, uh, we have a two part. The first part is pipeline variable that I already explained in my previous video. And the next part is pipeline return value. Okay. So uh, what does it do? Mm. Return value from pipeline using the set variable activity and retrieve the value in another pipeline using execute pipeline activity. So what we can do here uh, when we go with this, okay, uh, and uh, we specified any uh, value, then what will happen? The value of this variable we can use in another pipeline, okay. Now, which pipeline? The pipeline that will call this pipeline. So one more time, uh, hold on, this is my execute pipeline. Okay. Just try to understand. This is my execute pipeline. Okay. So this is my parent pipeline. Okay. And I have another pipeline called a uh, set variable pipeline. Okay. So in the set variable pipeline, instead of using this pipeline variable, I am going to use this pipeline return value. Okay. So if I uh, use this uh, variable type uh, pipeline return value, then I can uh, return the value of uh, this variable to the parent pipeline. Parent pipeline means the pipeline that will call this pipeline. So the name of this pipeline is set variable. Okay. So if I come to the execute pipeline, uh, I can see here I am calling a set variable pipeline from this execute pipeline. Okay, I am calling a set variable pipeline from execute pipeline. So this is my set variable pipeline. So in the set variable pipeline, I have uh, I am using one uh, set variable activity. So inside set variable activity, I am using variable type pipeline return value. Why? Because I want to return some value from this pipeline to parent pipeline, the pipeline that is calling to this child pipeline. Okay. So to achieve this task, I am using this uh, variable type pipeline return uh, value. Okay. So you can see here pipeline return value is a system variable that you can set here then uh, use in parent consuming pipeline. So whatever value we set here, we can use in the parent pipeline. Now how? So simple. <coughs> Uh, here uh, we can uh, we can uh, have a uh, different different kind of value like when I click on type uh, we can have a uh, null type boolean type plot integer array object string and expression okay so if I go with the ex string type that's uh, give some variable name a or give x okay then we need to give us uh, some string value okay like edge anything Again, let's click uh, one more or uh, similarly, uh, whatever our uh, type uh, we assign, uh, we choose here, we need to uh, give uh, that kind of value. So one more things uh, out one. Okay. Now, if I choose an expression type, then I have an option uh, to choose a dynamic content. Okay. When we choose an expression type. Now in the expression type, uh, we can choose from existing variable of this pipeline. We can uh, apply some function. We can uh, have a system variable like a pipeline name, workspace name. We can choose if we create a parameter, then we can choose uh, that parameter or we can use the activity output of a previous activity. Okay. Uh, so this time I want to choose a system variable called workspace name. Okay. So I chosen a workspace name and in my first expression activity, I had chosen uh, this activity output. So in my activity output, uh, which one I chosen item name, this one. Okay. This is the output of my previous activity. So this is my one activity, get metadata activity. In the get metadata activity, I am trying to uh, get the metadata of this source data set. And I am just uh, selecting uh, this two metadata. So 
in the output of this get metadata activity i will have uh, this two value item name means a uh, source name source file or folder name and then what kind of item type okay and uh, same value i am going to uh, assign in my uh, pipeline return value variable type and uh, here uh, i am giving the name name is a uh, key so this is this is key and these are the value so in the pipeline return value we have a key value pair okay so this is key this is key this is key and this key has a value okay out one has this value x key has this value and out ha key has this value now how i am going to use okay so as i explained i am going to, i can use uh, this uh, return value in parent pipeline so this is my parent pipeline okay <clears throat> this parent pipeline uh, will uh, get uh, this value and uh, how this parent pipeline will uh, retrieve uh, this value using uh, this key okay let me explain here again in this execute pipeline just to see what value i am getting from parent pipeline i created a one set variable okay in the set variable i am using output uh, i am using this one activity execute pipeline one uh, dot output uh, dot pipeline return value so whatever uh, the value uh, th uh, this execute pipeline is getting from the child pipeline okay using this activity execute pipeline dot output dot pipeline return value so this execute pipeline one is uh, getting a return value from the parent uh, child pipeline okay it is getting return value from the child pipeline so when i come here okay pipeline dot output dot pipeline return value okay after in that value okay i just need uh this one out value that is called key so using this key i am accessing this value okay using this key i am accessing uh this value so out is a key again let me create a uh, one more variable okay now setting uh, let's give the name uh, anything y okay now in this variable i assign this okay now this time i want to use out one so this is my another key okay so the first variable will hold uh this value and second variable will hold uh, this value okay so uh, let me close another and before doing anything i want to publish <coughs> just wait for now let's debug now it is debugging come to the output <coughs> So uh, we can see uh, exe first exe execute pipeline completed and in the output uh, we can see it is uh, calling a child pipeline okay it is calling a child pipeline after that in the set variable one we have a cust one okay the item uh, cust one and in the set variable two uh, it has a data engineer 1993 okay now let's verify here come to the set variable one minute uh, open the output okay so in the set variable one we can see we have a three output out one has a cust so this is key okay and this is value 
सो आउट की हैज अ वैल्यू कस्ट वन एंड आउट वन की हैज अ वैल्यू दिस वन ओके सो सेम थिंग आई एम एबल टू रिट्रीव हेयर इन पेरेंट पाइपलाइन ओके पेरेंट पाइपलाइन फॉर वेरिएबल टू दिस दिस वन बिकॉज आई यूज की आउट वन एंड फॉर वेरिएबल वन दिस इज द वैल्यू बिकॉज आई यूज की आउट ओके सो दिस इज हाउ दिस पाइपलाइन रिटर्न वैल्यू वर्क वी कैन यूज द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस वेरिएबल इन आवर पेरेंट पाइपलाइन एंड हाउ टू यूज यूजिंग दिस की वैल्यू पेयर सो दिस इज की एंड दिस इज वैल्यू सो यूजिंग की वी कैन फेच द वैल्यू एंड वी कैन हैव मल्टीपल वैल्यूज हेयर ओके एंड इच वैल्यू वी कैन रिट्रीव यूजिंग दिस की ओके सो आई थिंक आई एम डन विद दिस let me see if any other thing is required here mm, i think i already explained everything <coughs> see one more thing uh, here i used in uh, my uh, set variable but instead of uh, this set variable uh, i can have any another activity and i can use in uh, that activity okay mm, yeah. like any kind of in any kind of activity uh, i can use in uh, i can use uh, those uh, variable value not only in the set variable thank you